Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. Today we're going to be doing some T6 Abyss. Uh, this is a T6 Gamma, the ones that I like to do for profit. They are, however, pretty deadly because how the time can be a big of a problem sometimes. Um, stuff can sometimes take a long time to destroy, such as these Ephialtises right here. They always make me a bit stressed out when I see them because they, like, they're just generally speaking, the Ephialtises, they take a lot of HP. Uh, like they really just they've got so much hp just the amount of time to get through them is uh, a little bit too much but luckily this is not the worst ephialtis wave because sometimes you can have a full ephialtis wave in this case we've got the little frigates here that tend to take a little bit less time so it's not the worst ephialtis wave so i'm pretty happy about that but still ephialtis always is a bad thing to see like they always tend to take a long time to destroy even if it's just not a full one but they like, the amount of HP per how, like, threatening the Abyss seems to consider them is, like, the ratio of HP is a lot to how much threat they have. So that's why they're, like, a bit of a time sink, you can say. Let's see, you know, what have we got here? Minus 70%, so that's good. There's, I mean, for these guys, minus 70% doesn't mean anything because they only have 10% default resists, so they're still going to have 0% resists, like, explosive resists anyway. So it's not like minus 20%, minus 50% will be exactly the same. I'm just thinking of like future waves, like the next room and the one afterwards. It will always be better to have, you know, the minus 70%. Okay, split them up here, split them up here. And go to the bioadaptive cache. All right, there we go. Pop this thing right here. Pop this thing right here. We'll split this up a bit like that. There we go. We've taken a lot of drone anchor. See that augmented? He's got a lot of HP and he's almost taken out all his like he almost all his shields are down. I'm gonna focus on these guys a here. Who seem to be wanting to attack my drone the yellow box guys. None of the frigates, luckily, so that's great. Focus this guy and then we will see here. This, this, and this. These three need to be taken out quick because of how much damage they're doing to my drones. We'll just have them focus like this. Move towards buy adaptive. Hopefully good loot. Sometimes you can get those crazy drops. Last time I did some abyss, I got like 160 plus million. It was just like, just like that, 160 plus million. It was very satisfying to see. Okay. Shoot the missiles, please. Uh, this one's already damaged. We'll take this one now. Split the drones. The sleeper frigates do have resists right here. Unlike these ones that have hardly any resist, so the minus 70% will make them go a bit quicker. But otherwise, the Ephialtis, they're going to take as long as minus 50%. Ooh, 86 million, just like that. <laughs> the amount of isk you get from these T6 Abyss is just absolutely insane. Especially the Gamma ones compared to Exotics, you get much more. Sometimes I feel like it's a bit OP, and many people will think that it's OP. Me personally, I don't think it is because you have to have a lot of like just general in-game knowledge and then also this is a very expensive ship as well. Make a bit of mistakes, you could potentially lose this all. And then I've also got really good like in-game skills as well. Like the actual skill points. And now the frigates seem to be wanting to do a bit of damage. You can see they're not targeting anything, they're targeting my drones. That augmented there is almost destroyed. Okay, soon done with this wave. Approaching five minutes. Approaching five minutes. Hmm. And abyssal scenery. I really want to see more things like this in New Eden. Abyssal scenery is just an absolutely amazing thing. And now it's even getting quite old. Like, the abyss came out in 2018. It's been quite a few years now. So I can imagine CCP has, like, graphical uh, assets that are even more high-tech than what they made in the abyss. Because the abyss scenery has been looking the same since 2018 wouldn't surprise me if they've made developments i always see these like news posts of tech developments ccb games is making with eve online i'm looking forward to see what kind of things will be released next in eve online split them up like this here actually i should be using the tech 2 drones will be most optimal for the based on these guys resist types i just happen to have the augmented valkyries in space and these guys anyway die very quickly it's not going to be a whole lot of time saved really Otherwise, it'll be quickest to use the like the tech two ones that I've got here. And to recall the drones. Come on. Oh, I thought he was going to die from that volley right there, but he did not. We'll have our missiles finish the job. That's a bit annoying. Okay, always oh, is this now? Just under six minutes. It's a good time. 
Cool. Can we get 80 million from the next room as well? That would be nice to see. 80 million times 3. 240 million. Oof. Loose deep water waves. Okay. Pretty easy in the T6 gammas because they're not affected. Like in the firestorm you have problems because of how they have like really, really damn lot of HP. But here it's alright. It's not too bad. We'll move towards the bioadaptive cache. Putting Nova missiles because they're most optimal against these guys. Also the Tech 2 drones are most optimal against these guys. And I don't know if they're attacking my drones or something. No, okay, they were like not attacking me for a long time. We could go to these nodes on the side. That's a possibility actually. Just uh, so we can just go like sort of around like this. We will save a bit of time going toward. To be honest, let's just go for this. We'll save time. It's always best to be on the side of time because you anyway get so much isk from these bioadaptive cache. Just focus on these guys, and and this is like the last wave. Usually, it's just uh, it's good to not take the risks. Sometimes I feel like taking the risks. All right, here I don't really feel like taking the risks by moving around because. It's a lot. It takes a. I mean, we've not. The majority of the DPS we've got is in our like, drones, but the thing is, there is extra DPS that can make a bit, of, quite a bit of a difference in our missiles as well. I don't want to waste that. Well, because unfortunately, we don't have 60 kilometer range here. Otherwise, you see this nodes, they're like 50, 60 kilometers away. It will make stuff go a bit quicker. Right there, first deep water down, 30 million right there of an average. Maybe go for this one, perhaps. We can go for this one, yeah. Every deep watcher goes down a bit quicker than the first one, but in actuality, each one takes about the same amount of time. The thing is, like, they all got remote reps, so they're like, you can think of it that when there's four alive, three are remote repairing the one you're destroying, but when there's two, al three alive, then there's two, then there's two alive, there's only one, so there's going to be less remote repairs. But I think they do repair each other a little bit as time like goes on. I think it might be repairing, or oh, they maybe not repair or not repairing because it's not taking any damage right here. But usually, how it is, is just it goes a bit. You feel like the speed increases in destroying these guys as time goes on. Like destroy the second one now, only two more to go. Hmm. All these nodes are getting pretty close, actually. Can we send a drone here, maybe? Maybe send a drone here. These Valkyries are actually very quick. Uh, for being medium drones, they're the fastest medium drones that exist, so that's actually nice because you can just tell it to just move it poop, and go in. It would have been almost optimal if I had like a heavy missile launcher, that would have been better. So yeah, just got that drone, did the did the job so quickly. Have to move towards this extraction node here. Can maybe lock up some of these extraction nodes nearby. Mm, will we be able to? Thing is, it's like over 30 kilometers away. It's going to take a bit of time. Where are the deep watchers here? Let's go towards the deep watchers near the gate. It's going to be a lot of time wasted otherwise. Transfer conduit. Move here. The deep watchers, I don't know what kind of guns they've got because they've got a spe like special kind of guns. It's like some kind of beams, I think, or hybrid guns. I think it's hybrid guns because they've got a form of hybrid guns. Also, maybe it could be beams, actually. Let's see. Yeah. Actually, no, it looks like beams. They got missiles at least. And then they got some form of turret based weapon, maybe beams. The thing is, they've got really bad tracking. Those beams do do a lot of DPS when you are like very far away, because then it'll actually start applying decently. But otherwise, they have really bad application, both with their missiles and their beams. So, and they have like a ton of DPS packed into them, but the application is really bad, worse than the overmind. Worse than the Kerbis Tyrannus, really bad. I can maybe keep range here. Um, I can't really be bothered to have to go to all these other extraction nodes here. It would be good to have a mobile tractor unit, and honestly, I think it would it would be most optimal to just keep a tra mobile tractor unit with me. The reason I don't keep a mobile tractor unit is because I have problems with loot space. I ran out of space with having the a mobile tractor unit here and here, so that's why uh, just for me for simplicity's sake. I just don't keep a mobile tractor unit. Otherwise, I should. Like, it would be best to keep a mobile tractor unit in here. I definitely think it would be the best way to do this. But just with the amount of missiles I tend to keep in here, I could obviously have less missiles. That could be an option as well. But I found many times when I have mobile tractor units in the T6 Gamma, especially because of how much loot you get here, we run out of space. It's not a nice time. 
turn drones, please. Uh, yeah, how far they go? Like three, almost 4k a second. Very quick drones. Transfer conduit. And we've got like nine minutes left. Yeah, exactly nine minutes left. So perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. What have we got in this room? Cinema wave. Super easy. Um, I was thinking we can go to this wave. Usually I, will, I do not go to the like extraction nodes in the Cinnabar wave because they web so much. So it'll take us forever to get to these guys. But the reason I'm going for them is because this is the last wave and we've got a lot of time to spare so we can afford to like waste a bit of time. We can also take out these frigates as well because they're going to be like doing a lot of problems for our drones. Causing a lot of problems. Okay, where's the shields? 60% in explosive and then I'll be reduced further by the weather effect as well like the cinnabal rave is super easy for the gila because cinnabals they tend to be known to be a difficult way for frigates and destroyers just because the application is just so good so they can apply to little frigates that try to speed tank you otherwise here when you are like in the gila that naturally has a really good amount of hp per second tank it's not at all an issue like the issue is application in small stuff otherwise the dps that they output is not really high compared to like triglavian waves triglavian waves have more when the vedmax pull up kicking wars as well they have more dps they're here it's nothing compared to them oh no valkyrie twos this is what i mean there's like so much uh webbing here so it'll make uh, look at this this guy here is going very slowly probably died as well yeah he died even okay deploy this because he was webified so much that he wasn't even able to get to us in time because of all these guys webifying look how many webifiers they've got here Fury, not the echoes, they will like to webify a lot. Hey, webify a ton. All these cinnabars are webbing. Like you can see here, we're going at no speed at all. So you pretty much have to complete the whole wave before you're going to move a significant distance. And by that time, you may as well have just completed the wave. But since we've got a lot of time to spare, I'm not being too strict on myself to not go for the extraction nodes. I'll take out these echoes because they're they like dying pretty quickly and there'll be quick webifies off the grid oh no my valkyrie's taking again damage keep forgetting keep forgetting oh okay we'll deploy this one oh we'll deploy our tanky ones right here we sort of need this because the amount of drone aggro we've got here is insane insane drone aggro going on right here there we go take out these echoes split them up a bit so that they can so they have to forget about them when they've destroyed something. Okay, we've got only five webs. Only five webs. <laughs> the Lucifer Cinnabars over here die very quickly. The elite ones take a bit of time to destroy. So they'll go a bit quicker now, I think. It's just pretty much you have to destroy the whole wave before you can move a significant difference. Just the application is so good. Plus all the like, really strong webs. Everything's got webifiers. Makes everything go... Uh, stuck in one, it gets very really sticky here. Uh, everything is stuck in one place. If you can stick in one place, tank a lot, you've got no problems. If you want to move, you're going to get problems. Okay, it's so a quick 7 million right there. Buy adaptive cash. Okay, now we're not going anywhere with fires. That's great. Great, great, great. Okay, Republic Fleet Valkyrie is taking a bit of damage right here. We'll, we'll recall them. Hopefully, they're not being Weber 5 too hard. I think one of them was because he was going like 2k a second, but it's alright. Okay. This is the last wave, so we're soon done. Decent amount of time left. No worries at all. Like, the actual Cinnabar wave doesn't take a long time to destroy. Like, the HP on the grid is not too high. It's just... The only reason people don't like it is because it's just really a horrible application. Or, it's great application, but, like, horrible for the person who's running them. And also a lot because of it, like, does damage types... Uh, are like very extreme like it does a lot of em and explosive damage so like if you're an armor tank doing a lot of explosive damage is going to have problems there usually armor tanks have low explosive resist or shield tank a lot of em damage shield tanks usually have low em resist but when you've just got a lot of raw like hp uh, per second then it's no problem at all it's really smooth okay come on now drones work your way through these frigates right here i'll have my missile destroy this by adaptive as soon as i've Got this reload cycle off. There we go. Open this up. Open up, please. Open, please. Great. Okay, only 25 million. But, I mean, it's still these. 171 million is still something. I think a little bit less after we've taken the... Okay, 163 million still. So it's some decent. The first room was really great. The other two were average. 
you know, I'm not complaining. We're getting nice isk right here, nice isk right here. And going very smoothly as well with our lucky spawns. So here it was like 17 minutes, 16 and a half. Decent amount of time, not too slow. Gila is really smooth. I, I want to, I kind of want to have some other kind of ship to do these abyssal T6 uh, abyssal sides really smoothly. But I, I, the Gila is so smooth. I'm very used to running here. I got the good skills for it. And I also think it's like a really good looking ship as well. So anyway, that's a bit more T6 running. Hope you guys enjoyed the video right here. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.